All right, we're back. Sorry, I had to I had to take the other call there, but um, for those of you just tuning in, I am at the Jetty Park off um, Fort Pierce. Well, it's a Fort Pierce Jetty Park. It comes off uh, basically US-1. There's some kind of bird swimming in that water. But anyhow, I received notice from the state of Florida, DMV or whatever they are, whatever agency, trying, telling me they were going to suspend my license because I canceled my insurance on my RV, even though I still have insurance on all the other cars and everything else is current. So I got to try to get with them on Monday. They didn't give me any time to respond. Basically, they said I needed to respond to them before the 15th of um, March, before 12 a.m., which would be midnight, March. So I um, can't respond, not in time. Oh, there's something in that water. I don't know if that a turtle or something it just came up and there's a bird over there i don't know if you can see that bird so i don't know what's going to happen the, the way they worded the letter it said the driver's license is going to be suspended and or your um vehicle registration i can understand them suspending the vehicle registration because you know i dropped the insurance on it uh because it, you know it's the rv and it's just parked right now i think that's a turtle I think it's a sea turtle. I don't know if you guys saw that little lump going up and down. Got the, the jet ski there. Woohoo! Life in Florida. So, we'll see what happens. I gotta deal with it right away on Monday. And I hope it's just a, um, I hope it's just an issue of the registration because I, you know, I don't care to suspend that. It's um, not being driven, it's parked pretty much semi-permanently because I'm in the, the RV part and I didn't want to pay insurance if I'm not driving it. Maybe the bird's coming up to me. He's looking at me. <laughs> you see him sitting there? He's like just gonna, gonna clean himself and look around. It's weird, you know, he can twist his head like 360 degrees. But yeah, this water is like really beautiful out here. It's um, it's a beautiful greenish blue, more green than blue. And the sky is like absolutely beautiful. Like a few little small clouds, but otherwise very clear. And everybody's just out having fun. The, the pelicans are just sitting there, sunning themselves. We're gonna try to walk out to the tip, but there's a chance the, uh, the broadcast may cut off because um, obviously, I'm working off the, the, the phone cell, you know, cell towers, and as I go out towards the ocean, the, it may not pick up. So, we'll see what happens. I'll go, I'll go ahead and try to take you guys out there so you can get a, a view live of what's going on here in Florida at Fort Pierce. They even, um, they have a little postcard here. First off, they have these little machines that you can use, and these look like they're free. So, no money here. This is actually free. See, Florida's got all sorts of free stuff. <laughs> trying, to, trying to see if we can see in here. And yeah, I can look in there, but there's nothing to see. You know, they're, it's all blurry anyway. But. So, you can come here and get a free photo op. They don't even charge you for that. All you have to do is uh, stand in the frame and have somebody take a picture. And you, you got a, a postcard from Fort Pierce, Florida. I love the fort. You know... I call it Fort Pierce. There should be a fort somewhere around here. Maybe that's going to be a road trip. One, one of these days, I'm not trying to find out where Fort Pierce is. There's got to be a fort here called Fort Pierce. Because it's called Fort Pierce, right? Now, they, they, they have a fort in St. Augustine, but it's not called Fort St. Augustine. It's just called Fort... What is it called? What is that fort called in St. Augustine? That fort is called the Fort at St. Augustine. So this one, they call it Fort Pierce. There's got to be a fort here. So maybe, I, maybe this, if, if one of you uh, viewers here know more about Fort Pierce and the origins of the name of the, um, this is what the beach looks like here. If you guys know the origins of this place and um, how they named it Fort Pierce, be sure to post so the rest of us can figure out why they called it Fort Pierce. My assumption would be that used to be a fort here called fort at Fort Pierce. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming. But you know, what do I know? 
You know this water here is so beautiful when, when I was a mailman. It wasn't this park, was it? Well, it was between this this inlet and the one off um, Jupiter, the Jupiter inlet. But a body washed up here, parts of a body, a human body. They found like a, a foot. My fiance thought it was me. <laughs> she was like freaking out. That was when I first moved into the van. There was like a partially eaten body washed up because I guess the sharks and the fish and stuff ate somebody. And she thought maybe I was swimming and got eaten by the shark. But you know, that happens. So these waters do have sharks. But they actually uh, build up the jetty and then they poured concrete here so you can actually walk out and you can actually go fishing out there. So you're essentially fishing in the ocean without being in the ocean. Good morning, Kira. MC says, one of my favorite spots, lived there in 1996 before the hurricanes changed it. Head to Archie's up the road. Yeah, uh, uh, the hurricane just destroyed a lot of the, uh, the landscape around here. But I think also all the development and stuff because like, you know, the water, I know like Chetty and even here, it used to be like so clear you can see through the water and see the, I don't want to step on somebody's memorial. <laughs> But it used to be so clear, you could look into that water and you would see Nemo swimming around. <laughs> you know, now it's kind of murky, but this is still cleaner than the water I'm seeing in Brevard County, where they're saying in Brevard County, the, the pollution has killed off all the seagrass. So all the manatees are literally starving to death in my county, Brevard County, which is up probably about 30 40 miles up the the coast here is Brevard County and um, here which is surprising because this is South Florida where they have even more people and they have Lake Okeechobee supposedly was dumping sewage you know out to release it from Lake Okeechobee and it was getting into the Atlantic Ocean and polluting all along the coast but if you look at the water here look at look at the color it's like a, a greenish slightly blue green you know really beautiful aqua aqua color uh, it's more beautiful than it looks uh, up north which looks murky and dirty so I don't know what's causing it you know because they, they say it was a the algae that was destroying uh, you know the green algae was destroying all the the regular plants and so and killing all the animals and they're saying that's what's destroying the uh, the seagrass in Brevard County and that's what the um, the manatees eat and they're all dying they're literally dying so if it's uh, pollution from the sewage either they stopped dumping it from Lake Okeechobee or the people here have stopped using fertilizer or whatever because they're saying it's fertilizer and also do other stuff but Brevard County has less people than they do down here in South Florida so I don't know I don't know what the, the cause is but I do know the result is there are a bunch of dead manatees. Um, you guys, if you saw my previous videos, I used to go to the library and all those places and you would see manatees and dolphins swimming around. They come up to you. Now, nothing comes up except dead, um, I, I've noticed a lot of dead crabs. Remember those horseshoe crabs? So something is affecting the water and killing the wildlife up in Brevard. I don't know how it is, in the rest of Florida, only in Brevard, because that's where I went recently for my walk. Thank you. Oh, I got one better. Thank you again. They're handing out these, um, I guess we're invited, and any, any of you reading this is also invited. It's a church. I accept Jesus Christ. No, to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior anytime before it is too late. So, I guess it's not a church. <laughs> I thought they were trying to invite me to their church, but they're just handing out little postcards that say you're invited to accept God, to accept Jesus as your your savior here, which I already do, but I got two of them, so. All of you watching, you're all invited as well, okay? And remember, it's not too late till it's too late. Hey, Alicia, good to see you on here. 
MC says this jetty used to go another uh, quarter mile. It, it, was it the um, was it the hurricane that that destroyed it? I know we had um, that one year where like four or five hurricanes came through. This jetty is actually one of the better jetties. Of course, I haven't I haven't been out to the jetty park at um, Cape Canaveral in a very long time. And that one used to be pretty good, but I don't think it was as good as this one. By the way, does anyone know what this bird is called? This this little guy that runs around scavenging. You see him there? But yeah, this is a really beautiful jetty. They they have um, maybe this one got fixed. Yeah, I think this was one that I went to before, and it literally had holes. <laughs> Water was coming up through the holes because the um, the pavement was all busted and stuff. I think it was this one, or was it the one at um, Jupiter Inlet? I'm getting them all mixed up. The Jupiter Inlet's pretty neat too. No, I think it was this one that was busted. I think they just fixed it. Forever in our hearts, Brian Bowes. Born in 1985, died in 2020. He was only um, 15 years, 15 years old. No, Brian Bowes and Bobby Bowes. Sad. But you know, the, the family remember them by putting this stuff out here so they can come out and walk and get some peace. I suspect the, the people who put memorials here, it's probably because of the person um, coming here a lot. This is Edward. Edward F. Birmingham, 1940 to 2020. So he was uh, 60, 80 years old. My loving husband. Jetty is a testament to dead people. I think it's it's not a bad thing, you know. It's a beautiful spot to come, and people come here to celebrate life and to enjoy life. But all the all the monuments here uh, are of dead people. Father, brother, and friend William Leo, Bill Tenney, 1945 to 2012. And he was a Gators fan. Patrick Anthony Tenney must be a son. 1954 to 2007, maybe a brother. Probably a brother, potentially a son. No, not a son. He would be too young. He would only be like uh, he would only be like eight years old. Must be a brother. Two brothers. This place is awesome. I, I miss kind of, I used to live in um, Fort, I used to live in like Port St. Lucie and I used to come up here with my fiance. So, you know, it's beautiful down here. South Florida, that's the one thing South Florida has is um, really beautiful beaches and access like this. They don't do this in North Florida or, well, they do it around Destin. You know, Destin on the Panhandle side, the, the west coast of Florida right near Alabama and stuff. It's called the Panhandle of Florida. And they do make their beaches pretty there. Although it's becoming more and more commercialized. Um, the, the rich people who buy that land, by the beach, they're blocking access from the public, which I think is bullshit. <laughs> you know, the rich people buy the land and don't allow anyone there. Jose Enrique, Ro Enrique Roman, 1964 to 2018. Not that old. Close to my age. Somebody's husband, father, and grandfather. Your wings were ready, but our hearts were not. We love you, Dad. Uh, looks like somebody lost their plaque. Interestingly, you know these pavement things? I can see what looks like a tin can or something that was embedded in the, the cement, which is kind of weird. You got seaweed. I wish the water wasn't so foggy or, or cloudy. But then we could probably see um, things swimming under there. If they're still alive. 
I'm surprised that the signal, I'm, I'm assuming the signal is still good. But I don't see any comments, so maybe, maybe the signal isn't good. <laughs> What the heck? We're still live. <laughs> I thought I had ended the broadcast, but um, I don't know if you guys heard my comment, but um, I had a call and I took the call and I don't know what's going on unless it just reconnected and just cut out the whole conversation. I wonder if it recorded. I'll find out if this thing records conversations when they're live. But um, since it's live, I'll keep it going. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to stay live because we are actually in the ocean now at this point just to show you how far out we are um that is the tip of the jetty well actually it tips on the other end but they got two tips they have like an l bracket and there is the uh, the coastline of florida right there if i can get this to focus so you can see the the florida coastline right here going along the edge here and the jetty itself coming coming towards this way and of course people riding jet skis all the way out to the ocean <laughs> uh, they're staying in the um they're staying in the uh, the waterway of the jetty so we'll see what happens here we'll see how far out we can go before the uh, the signal drops completely out this way and then uh, we'll go over to the tip and then go over the other side. You can see some pollution here and uh, frisbee. Okay, I don't know if you guys can still hear the audio. This is the part with the broken sidewalk that I was talking about. So it's at the tip here. If I did remember somewhat correctly. I thought the whole sidewalk was like that. It's just over here. See, the, the good spot ends and then they block it off. But they still have the bad spot with the, um, the busted pavements. So this is the, uh, the busted part of the, the pier. Collapse at any moment, and of course I'm standing on it. But you can see it's all collapsed in. So we're gonna try to walk away from the edge there where it's collapsed. So this is collapsed too, along the edge here. But, you know, everybody's just walking around as if it's no big deal that the, the, 
<laughs> the pavement is collapsing as we're walking on it, you know. But I guess it didn't fall completely in, so the assumption is if it collapses, you're only going to fall a couple feet. Probably won't get too hurt. Hopefully not too badly. And you see people just walking all over this. They got all such a... Now, I'm assuming that this is like... Um, buildings and stuff that they destroyed and they hauled all the the pavement here and just threw it out here in the ocean to make a, a pier not a pier but a jetty but it's all busted here all through so that's what it looks like from here We have the, the little birds still out here, and the pelican. Beautiful bird. right here waiting for a handout <laughs> it's like waiting for the, the fishermen to cross himself This is the end. Huh? Oh no, I'm just <laughs> looking at the end of the the jetty here. So yeah. uh, nobody's going out there. The bird with the little fish. Lunch there. Pelicans right up here, checking it out the fishermen. Take a knee out. It's kind of dangerous. But some people are braver than me. They just hop right through. All right, I think that wraps up our tour of Chetty Park here at uh, Fort Pierce. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. It will help the channel out. Until next time, everyone, I hope you're having a good day wherever you are, staying warm, enjoying nature if you can, making the most of each and every moment. God bless you all. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now.